What is a mole in chemistry? A dozen is a unit with a specified number, 12. In chemistry, the unit is called the mole with a specified number of particles, which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd representative particles. Or it is called 602 hexillion particles written with 21 zeros and 602. A mole of a substance is 6.02 times 10 23rd representative particles of that substance and this substance refers to atoms, it can be molecules, and it can be formula units. So just like a dozen, we say a dozen oranges has 12 oranges, a dozen apples, 12 apples, a dozen mangoes, 12 mangoes, a dozen bananas, 12 bananas. Now, in chemistry, the relationship between representative particles and the moles is, for example, we have the substance here, iron, the chemical formula, Fe, and the representative particles in one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd iron atoms. And of course, the mass of one mole of iron is 55.8 grams. It is equal to the atomic mass of iron. Take note, the mass of one mole on the fourth column are all the molar masses of the substances on the first column. So we have oxygen gas or O2 chemical formula. How many in one mole? 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd oxygen molecules. The mass is 32 grams, which is the molar mass of O2. Water, H2O. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd water molecules is in one mole. And the mass is 18 grams, the molar mass of H2O. Likewise, sodium ion, Na positive ion, the number of ions in one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, and the mass is 23 grams. NaCl. Again, the formula units, how many? 6.02 times 10, 23rd sodium chloride formula units in one mole. And the mass is the molar mass, which is 58 grams. So similarly, a dozen oranges, 12 oranges, the mass is 2 kilograms. Dozen apples, 12 apples, the mass is 2.2 kilograms. A dozen mangoes, 12 mangoes, the mass is 9 kilograms. A dozen bananas, 12 bananas, the mass is 4 kilograms. So they, they have the same number, but they have different masses. So similarly, in chemistry, we have these values. So the conversion factors that we will be using are all based on one mole. So again, if the unknown unit is number of moles, then on the numerator of the conversion factor is one mole of the substance. And the gram on the denominator, which is the given. So if the unknown unit is grams, so on the numerator, on the conversion factor, grams of the substance is there. And if the given is one mole, then that is the written on the denominator. If the unknown unit is the number of particles, then 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles is on the numerator over one mole of the substance. Likewise, the opposite, if the unknown is one mole, 
and the given is number of particles then 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles is on the denominator of the conversion factor. Always remember on the conversion factor, the unit of the unknown must be written on the numerator and the unit of the given on the denominator. So let us have an example problem. How many carbon atoms are there in 36 grams of carbon? We know that one mole of carbon atoms is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd carbon atoms. So, let's convert 36 grams carbon to moles so we can use this conversion factor. So, how to convert? We know we use the molar mass of carbon. One mole of carbon is 12 grams of carbon. So, using this conversion factor, we can calculate the number of moles of 36 grams, 3 moles. So, now we can use now the conversion factor that 1 mole of carbon atoms is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd because we know now the number of moles. Okay, so the number of carbon atoms is equal to 3 moles of carbon times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd carbon atoms divided by 1 mole of carbon. And the answer is 1.8 times 10 to the 24 carbon atoms. So, what is the mass of 1.8 times 10 to the 24 carbon atoms. Let's have the reverse. So we know that 1 mole of carbon atoms is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd carbon atoms. So let's convert 1.8 times 10 to the 24, which is the given. So we can use this conversion factor. So moles of carbon is 1.8 times 10 to the 24 carbon atoms times 1 mole of carbon divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd carbon atoms. And we have 0.3 times 10 to the 1 or 3.0 moles of carbon. So now that we know the number of moles of carbon, we can now calculate the grams by using the molar mass conversion factor. 3 moles of carbon times 12 grams of carbon divided by 1 mole of carbon is 36 grams of carbon. And it makes sense. If 1 mole of carbon is 36 grams, therefore 3 moles of carbon is 36 grams. Another example is how many water molecules are present in a glass of water. And a glass of water approximately has a mass of 250 grams. So we know again that 1 mole of water is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd water molecules. So let us convert 250 grams of water to moles. So we can use this conversion factor. So moles of water, 250 grams of water, using the conversion factor, which is the molar mass of water, we have 13.9 moles of H2O. It means that one mole of H2O weighs 18 grams, then 13.9 moles of H2O is the mass it has a mass of 250 grams so now that we know the number of moles we can now calculate the number of water molecules using this conversion factor that 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd water molecules is in one mole of water so 13.9 moles of water times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd water molecules divided by one mole will give 8.37 
times 10 to the 24 water molecules.